Hey y'all, welcome to Crazy Country Barbecue on Facebook. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and post a review uh, on YouTube uh, about this new Oklahoma Joe smoker. It is the DLX Rider. Uh, I want to uh, show you guys what I'm cooking tonight. I went ahead and I was at Sam's Club and they had some uh, whole beef tenderloins. Uh, picked one up. They were actually under 30 bucks. Usually they run about $100. Uh, I was very surprised to uh, catch one this cheap. So for the family, and my wife loves doing filet mignons and stuff like that. But usually they kill you on the price. Uh, my lock cart is in the shop. It is getting fixed up. It is kind of went kind of dead. Uh, we'll talk about that in the YouTube video. So if y'all like me here, go to, over to uh, YouTube and I'll explain what happened on that and everything. Uh, but I went ahead and got this thing. It's very simple. I'm going to show you guys the controls. You got your startup. Comes with two probes. You got your timers, your probe. You got your smokes. And then you got your grill. So, I mean, it's a very cool little setup. You got your two dampers up here. Release your smoke. I mean, they, they're adjustable just like everyone else. Okay, I pull them off, put them back on. They do get kind of hot, but, you know, after you grab 15, 20, 200 plus degree briskets. So, I leave them open. Uh, that's just the smoke you guys see. This thing is smoking really good. Okay. In here in the back, you guys see them rack, rack adjustments. I've got a whole nother rack I haven't put in here, but I have ordered the rib, uh, the rib rack accessory. So let me go ahead and get my normal rib rack. That's the fillets. This is what everybody's used to seeing. You have to put it down here, try to wedge it in, all that. Not anymore. They've got one of these that fits just like that, guys. Okay. So they come to the pack on Amazon or you can go through Charbroil, Oklahoma Joe's. Uh, they've got a pan that fits in here that big uh, setting is and I also got a griddle you got your sear and your smoke I got it on smoke because I'm giving them some smoke okay so all in all besides the basic uh, put together uh, came with a cool little bucket to hold your pellets comes with a lid and a bucket on the side that little handle right there you pull it out so when you get done and everything you got your pull out and you can dump all your pellets and run the rest of the dust out. You got two drip pans down here. You got your uh, ash thing there and it does not put a lot of ash in the bottom. It doesn't have a big heavy blower and that's an extra little grate. Uh, good cast uh, wheels, good metal. It stays pretty close on everything that it's doing guys. So, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. It's got a light door. Uh, doesn't have a light, but you know, we can always worry about that later you can always install one put one up at the top high heat uh high temp light or something like that but it, it's it's doing you know right there's a smoke mode it just kicked in you guys can see it i mean it is coming out now the reason it's coming out of that sear smoke because that's part of the bottom of the drum it's a escape but i mean it it puts a lot of smoke on on your meat and on your stuff that you're cooking so when it drops down, I've got it on low, just low smoke. It's hitting about one, 180 max, but it's doing wonderful. Uh, I did a hot and fast brisket on it. I uh, did it in like six, uh, five, five and a half hours. Really wasn't pushing it. Uh, did some corn, did some uh, poppers. They've got a drumstick holder instead of it being inverted where the drumstick is just, you got the leg of it. You flip it over and the drumstick pops up like a lollipop and a popper sit in there in between so you can do a chicken popper chicken popper chicken popper it, 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 it actually looks pretty good guys so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna wrap up here if you guys like subscribe go to youtube like subscribe let me know what you guys are thinking this is uh for the oklahoma joe it's not for the pit boss um i have been mixing and matching with different style pellets uh I, if you guys do see i've got uh you know a bag of uh, cherry rum that I'm gonna try out you know it's just a little bit of you know give and take you know here and there and all that you know it all varies and seeing what you know seeing what you like and how you can do it so just remember you know stay crazy keep to your country roots and keep barbecuing guys take it easy